telling you, man, I won't do it. I won't do it. I'll put up that ball shit. I won't do it. I won't do it. So, hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Nino Cooney. In the last episode, we saw a man, and we got pissed off for two minutes. Because it was a man who lied to us, basically. Who gave us our word that he would never misplace his diary again. And yet the fact that he's standing here tells me, beyond the shadow of a fart, to continue, that we are going to be continuing his crap! Well, well, well. Fancy meeting you here, old stick. Jolly, jolly around these parts. What? No D word yet. Okay, this is promising. You again. You're like the proverbial bad penny you are. How'd you end up by here? Oh, ho, come now to your boy. There's no need to take that tone. One simply enjoys the spot of the old pre pregnancy is all. And once one's diary has been... You didn't! You didn't! I'm not reading the rest of your dialogue. You didn't. No. 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 <sighs> Fuck. Alright, where did you lose it? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, you were cold. Oh. You're wearing like three layers of business suit there. You got the suit itself, you got the dress shirty, dressy, dressy, uppy shirt all buttoned up, all the way up to your nipples. And, uh, it's a prostate, what? Rather what had the dust throw good luck, in fact, some forceful came across one of my prostate form. Oh, I'm just kidding. When I came to, I was prostated. I guess a noggin of nausea and sparkling. What? Oh, oh. Okay, whatever. Well, that's not so bad. I think we can find that. But first... Dane Frost Flan, yeah, alright. So, how's everybody doing here? Today is Friday. The day that I'm recording this, actually. The day that I'm recording this. So, we're just gonna head on out and see if we can find this fucker's diary. So, I'm getting about sick of this shit. Oh, I'm sick of it. I will do it. I will do it. I'll put up that book. I'll put up that book. I will do it. That's a meme of mine, actually. Because I used to use that when I would rant about Debbie and Shaddy. And how they owed me all this money. And I was like, I won't put up with that fucking shit. I won't do it. I won't do it. So, were we actually going west from the town there? I believe it's right there. But don't, don't, don't take my word for it just yet. Because yes, indeed, I am wrong, folks. I am wrong. Okay, so we got pretty easy access to the forest up here. And it turns out... There we go. Knew it had to be here somewhere. Have we been in here yet? Yeah, we have, because of this fool over here. Wearing the flip-flops. What are we even doing here? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute, black clothes, what? Oh, there you go. Well, I was thinking it's more like gray, actually, but... More like a grayish brown. You know, like maybe he pooped himself or something. But, uh... But okay. Okay. Wait. Seem to have missed a green treasure chest here. We just have to find out where to... Right there, at it a second ago. Here we go. Yeah. Bam, got it. The roly poly gem. All right. <laughs> you know that pure, rich roly poly. Don't even get me started on that. Don't make me hate myself right now. If you know that story, then you're a pretty prolific watcher, I must say. <laughs> Alright, what else do we need to do here? So we haven't even started on, like, the whole... Seek Fortune thing here on this continent yet. I don't even know where I would start if I did. Let me just sit back down here and... So maybe we can have ourselves a look-see here. 
just kind of see what we're missing here. Try to make this as quick as I can, because I know it's not exactly the most fun thing to watch, and look at that, they're everywhere. Holy crap. Alright, we'll start with this one on the north side. Bingo, here's our first one. We got a breeze cake. Alright, which one's next? How about the one over there to the east? Okay, so let's try it from up here, huh? There it is. We got a whirly gig gem, and the spell wore off just in time. I guess this is what we're gonna be doing for this video. Holy crap, what a what a masterfully boring idea. Okay, we'll go to the southeast, kinda just go in a big circle here. So, southeast, that's a pretty big clearing there. Should be fairly identifiable on the map. Okay, so this one's a little tricky. You actually have to sneak in here. Like on the map, it looks like it's up there. There's actually a little secret little area here. And we get a dark cloud gem, alright. What about this one over here? Is this one gonna be as easy? Wait, no. Then you take the dragon up, get this one up here. You obtained an iron diamond. Hang on a second. Iron diamond. I've been waiting to find one of those. Let me see what recipe I got here that uses that. It's iron diamond. Oh, I need two of them. Never mind. I only got one there when I found it just now. Well, that's too bad. Alright, so the next one is down here. You kind of got to come in from the south side, or west side, actually. And it's right there. Boom! Jumbo Star Drop. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, so we'll just go south right over the mountains there and get the one on the other side. Okay, I'm not too sure about this one. It wouldn't let me land anywhere near where the chest actually was. But the chest is right here. We need a Cold Stone. Ooh, that's another one. But I need two of those. Crap. That's crap, man. Alright, finally on the south and southernmost peninsula of the island. We can't call hungry from here. We can be hungry from here. Okay, and then just on this slightly raised plateau here in the south, we got one right here. Handful of chocolate bonbons. Yeah, seriously. So that takes care of this continent, which is good. Should probably go back and check out the rest of the Winter Wonderlands before I leave here. But actually, there's plenty more where that came from. Actually, what I wanted to do... Let's see, 14 minutes? Yeah, we should have time to do this. Uh, what I want to do... Is, I've been ignoring this for a while now. There's this guy named Horus, remember? And he shows up as a ghost around certain towns. But at a certain point... Oh, oh my god, what am I doing? Why don't I just travel? Silly. What island is this? I guess now that I've stopped here, I might as well take a look. It's kind of a half-frozen, half-normal island we got here. And the spell is still... Oh, okay. Let's just see what we got here. What is this island called again? Jack Frost's Playground. That's right about where the chest is, though, so be careful. Uh, there it is. Frosty Flan, alright. We got one more on the southeast corner. We're just gonna... drag in this one. Stop dragging my heart around. Actually, you know what? Wait. We have a draw point here. Two blizzard blooms. Oh. It's iron diamonds and jade marbles. If I had like about ten of each of those, I could make all kinds of crap right now. But no. How far are we? Okay, this is... This is way too long. I'm not walking all this. No, sir. I can't be arsed. There we go. I think he dropped us right where the treasure was, actually. A couple of steps away from it. Suit of pure steel armor. I haven't really checked out a lot of this armor that I've been picking up, or even stuff like this. I mean, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Tundra shield, and, uh, well, he has a holy shield here, but that's not even as good, really. Actually, this here is probably good for Melinda. It brings her attack bound by two... But it brings the defense up by 9, so, yeah. Otherwise, there really isn't much here. Oh, well, geez, I guess I could give her something. Oh, she could equip a sword? Shit. Should go back and get another one. 
In the meantime, Souls Restored will do fine. Pure Steel Armor, damn. This brings her accuracy down. But then I don't know how much she'll be using physical attacks anyway. Of course, what else are you going to be using? It's like, jeez. Alright, I think we're pretty much done here for this. I mean, there's going to be a hunt on this island later, I remember. I haven't checked out the hunts recently enough to know. So we are back in more familiar territory here. So which way are we going to go? Well, I said I was going to Castaway Cove. And then I, I realized at some point that it would have been quicker to travel there. But I wasn't thinking about that just now. Just on the off chance. Maybe there's a good reason why I was taking the dragon here and I just didn't realize what it was yet. Could there be... Could there be... There is not. Alright, well... It's looking for dinosauros. We could be looking for those for quite a while, though. So, I mean, I don't know if I'm ever actually going to pick one of those up. Because it does seem kind of cheap to use one. Then again, you never know. People might want to see it, you know, because maybe they couldn't find one. Maybe they wanted to see how useful it could be. And maybe I want to be a badass and come across like I'm as unbeatable by having all the best ones. Hey, girl, you know, I, I got something for you. Oh, right, wonderful to see you again. You were looking for a designer to ring the element of delicacy in your life, perhaps. Actually, yes, we're looking for a nice 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 Good lord, so in, um, Castaway Cove, there's Horus is over here. Hey, what's up? Spirit medium? What you want? What you want this time, boy? Get over here, boy. What? Oh, there you are. You crossed the desert, too, I see. What exactly are you wearing? You look ridiculous. So we didn't really have a choice, man. Everybody has to wear a swimsuit here. Oh, swimming. I used to love being in the water. It's not quite the same when you're a ghost. You don't even get wet. Gee, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> don't worry about me, Ollie. There's plenty of good things about being a ghost. <laughs> hey, it's immediately. Looks like someone's taking to the trial. Taking them? He didn't just take them, shorty. He passed them with flying, flipping colors, asshole. Well, bully for him. And no thanks. No bullies here. My NASCAR? <laughs> oh, man. That's right. That is pretty neat. Tools of Wizardry. Now, if you actually go and do this, you can look in on the picture and see, like, some NASCAN script, and then if you translate it, you'll come up with the actual answer to this riddle. But I'm just gonna actually... I mean, I might show where the script actually is, but offhand I don't really remember. But the answer to the riddle is actually finest fiber. And it doesn't matter if it's all caps, so I'm just gonna go lazy and go all caps. Well done. Yes, we wizards should always wear robes from the finest of fibers. Mine are made of material from the sky tree. How about that? Cool, my clothes are made from the sky tree too. What but only sages are allowed to wear sky tree clothes. You're not a sage. Now now, midget face, don't get in a tizzy. The old lady down the hootie gave us them for free. For free? You fluky little... Here I am about to give you something else brilliant, but I suppose you did solve my puzzle. Yeah. You get the vacate spell, which we could have gotten this a lot sooner. It's basically an exit spell. So it lets you leave a dungeon instantaneously. Which I could have used a couple times, but then it's like, you know, you go through, you beat the boss. It gives you a teleporter that takes you right back out, so it really didn't matter that much. So what we're going to do now is jump over to Hamlin. So now that we've solved his riddle here, he should show up there. So, oh, you know what? I just re I, I just realized why he's not here. Because I'm in the wrong town. So I have to go to the fairy grounds first. That's right, I'm doing this in the wrong order here. It's just that Hamlin is so early on the list, I just automatically assumed it was next. And it's not... 
So thankfully, it's a pretty small town here, so it's not too hard to find him. He's in the back over by where the bridge is. So we'll just make our way right back there, and we should be good to go. Okay, I guess there is. Holy jeez. I thought last time when I took the bridge, it just took me straight into her butthole. But, maybe not. Is it though? Is it though? Is it? No fair, no fair, no fair. <laughs> it's a little easy. What do you expect? They're gonna talk like three year olds. It's pretty cute, but at the same time. Uh, secret agent. <laughs> Thinking about what spell I needed to cast there. Oliver, it's you! Thank goodness you're here! What's wrong, Hortis? Stowed away aboard ship to cast away cove, but when I woke up, I was here. Never knew there was a whole forest full of these little loonies. When did this happen? Why, you cheeky little beggar? The fairy ground here has been the center of fairy culture for centuries. Only centuries? Well, it wouldn't have been here when I was on my travels then. Jeez, how old is this guy? Oh my god. A genie? Yeah, that's right. Then this will be nice and easy for you. You've seen the formula gathered by wizards. I often used to whip myself up a nice burger when I was on my travels. You did? Burgers are my favorite, too. Yeah. But you know just what that certain special something no burger can do without is, wouldn't you? Yeah, sure. Alright, um, let's, let's have it. Certain fresh ingredient that no burger can do without. Can you tell me what it is? Yeah, I'll tell you. This may not necessarily be everyone's opinion. Personally, I think no burger can do without mayonnaise myself. Except for McDonald's burgers. I prefer them without it, actually. But according to Hortis here, it's crispy lettuce is what you want. Boy, you really know where you can do that. It's a nice portion of crispy lettuce. McDaffy D's, it was called. I used to love popping down there for a nice juicy McRare bit. Wow, does that sound good. I'd love to try one. Me too. Wait, I just remembered something. There's another page from the Wizard's Companion I meant to give you, but I lost it somewhere. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, we, we already got the Levitate spell, so good. Oh, is that another formula? Well, shoot, I'll take it. Sage of Age is super special Mega Madison. You're gonna try and cure anything. Well, sounds good to me, whatever you want to do. So he's kind of on his own little adventure here. It's like the adventures of Jet, Sir Braska, and Orin all over again here. So, um, I guess we're down here. I want to take a look at my formulas for a second, because I haven't looked at those in a while. And I did pick up some new ones from someone else, too. Sage of Secret. You know, the snowflakes may be good for something after all. I got plenty of glow caps. Tonic, though, that's not as easy to find. But, uh, let's see. Snowdrop bonbons, holy crap. Hey, they're selling caramels at the store. So I could make that, actually. I was thinking maybe there was something I could put together that I didn't realize. But now, maybe now we can finally go to Hamelin. And see Hortis there. And see what Hortis can give us when we go there. So much easier now that we have the travel spell. We can just go anywhere we want to. It's just crazy that they go and give you the dragon, like, you know... It's a half hour after you get that spell, an hour after you get that spell. And so then it's like, well, phew, thanks a lot. You know, I could have used one of these a little bit sooner. But, you know, you know, do crap, whatever. <laughs> then you go and do crap, whatever. Let's give me a minute here, I'll cast my spell. Cast my spell just for you, sir. Nice to see you again, Ollie. This city is quite something, isn't it? Have you ever seen so many machines? If your idea of fun is tinkering with cogs and gaskets, this is a place for you. So you like machines. I'm totally keen on having a familiar from the Automaton family myself. Speaking of familiars, it looks like you built up quite a monster ma menagerie. Yeah, I guess, but it was mostly Esther. She sure is good with critters. Well, maybe she can help you with my next question, then. I think you're going to like it. Somewhere in your wizard's companion, there's a picture of the wizard wars that once raged throughout the land. Squint hard at it and you'll find some great examples of creatures from the automated genus. 
My question is this. How many creatures from the Automated Genius are in the picture? Alright. Well. Once again, we could go look, or I could just tell you the answer, which is... Five. You got it, Ollie! Hmm, maybe that was too easy. As you can tell from the picture, machines existed even at the time of the Wizard Wars. What were the Wizard Wars? Long ago, Darth Vader. It's basically Django Fett made a bunch of clones of himself. That's what happened. But I suppose for the best that nothing survived to show how terrible he really was. <laughs> so. Crazy thing is, he probably was there. Is there something going on with this guy? Like, like maybe it's because I never finished his quest, I don't realize who he really is. Because he's seeming to be an awful lot more important than I ever imagined. <laughs> Natural beauty. You wouldn't be talking about a little place like Yule, would you? Wait a minute, Perdita, I didn't mean to go there. Yule. You will be sure. Okay, so anyway. Well, we got a bunch of spells from Horus. There's probably going to be one more for us to get here. But in the meantime, we also have that diary to return to the guy. But you can't do too much stuff at once here, or else you might have to just to overwhelm yourself. So, in the next episode of Nino Kuni. Getting a little sick of this using this ice plant, but whatever. Don't have a whole lot of choice right now. In the next episode, as I said, we will return the stupid guy's diary and possibly pick up another spell from Hortis. So, see you guys next time. Later.